Hello and welcome to Stray Robot Bytes. This series will be covering how to set up and make the most of the awesome Stray Robot. It will be one video per topic, so it should be easy to follow and find. And when relevant, example import code will be supplied within the video description to quickly accelerate your implementation of Streamer.bot. So let's get on with the topic today. Today we're covering the point system created for Streamer.bot. This is kind of a framework built by myself to enable people that are Twitch affiliates to have points in their stream. So ways for the viewers to earn points and also redeem them. You can find the import for all the actions within a Discord post, but I've always got on Pastebin, and they're going to be in the video description below, because it's too large to fit in there by itself. So with this string, we need to import it into the streamer bot. We paste in the string, and it picks up all the commands we need. We can then, sorry, actions, not commands. We can then import that, and we can see under bot actions, we have 14 separate actions to get the bot running. Now with this, we can go through, I'm going to set up all the commands we need. There's one action that is not a command and one action which is tied to another command or event like raid or for example. So with this, what we're going to do is to Go through those additions of the commands to get the point system set up. So the first one we need to do is to enable the points to be added to your user. Now in Streamerbot, we have under the events tab a present viewers act, you know, trigger. So every five minutes, this is going to trigger, and the code that we've got within the points dash timed action, we'll then look at everyone that's in the stream and add the points. So that's something we need to do and that's just going to sit there. You can edit that action and the code within it to increase the number of points. It is commented in the code to where to change it. If you were to change that, I'll just show you in a second what to do. So if you wanted to add more than one point every five minutes, so for example, we've got here is just one. So we can take it down to one, have it 10 points every five minutes for users. We then compile and okay. Well, save and compile would also work. So we don't need to know code. We just need to know where to change it if you want to change that multiplier. So it's, it's 100 points per five minutes at the moment. So you might want to change that. The next one we want to set up is defining a point's name. Now, by default, they're points, so you don't need to change this, but some people want to have it as a theme which fits in with their stream. So with this, we're going to create commands. So the first one is exclamation mark points name. This should be really ideally a streamer or at least moderator command, where you can change a points name. And you set that to points name action. So running the points name will allow you to define what the points are. And we'll go through these actions um, once you've added them all in and we'll have a run through of how they all interact. We can also add in an action to display what the current point's name is. And again, very similarly action called get points name. Again, this really should be ideally for a moderator or above. They don't actually set anything here, so it doesn't matter so much, but uh, it's not really a command we'd expect a viewer to use. We can then want to have a command to add points. So then this again is a moderator above command to add additional points to everyone. It's worthwhile noting on add points, you can do add points, command space, all space, then the number to add. 
there is a, a quite a large number of points limit that uh, is is defined there. So you've added the add points in. Next one we need is points. And so this is just going to be the current points per user. So anyone can run this and it'll just return the number of points. You might want to have a say user cooldown so people can't spam that command. It doesn't really matter so much on the user cooldown there. Next we want to do another command very similar to the add points. This is where you actually override and set the total points for a particular user account or viewer account. Again, moderator is likely the right one for that. But this is the backbone. You've got ways to get points just by this, the um, viewers watching the stream. They Even lurkers will be added points, so lurkers get the credits there. Uh, you could tie events very similar to um, to whisper actions to add points to to users that can be done quite easily, and we'll cover a couple of commands now to both buy um, or spend the points, but also a way to add points to users. So it could be they're whispering and adding it, or it could be a raid or a host from the user to add a certain number of points. And so let's do that one first. So we're going to do that within the event. So settings, events, and then say a raid. And what we can do here is event to trigger to add points to user host raid, for example. So whenever we get raided, we'll call this action. And so what this does, it gives a redeem error points, it gives them 1,000 points. So it gets the value in, increments the points by 1,000. And it then defines they've been 100, whatever the points name is, and it gives the total points. So you can change the number there. You can use this action to add points to users for something. Um, so that's a way to add more points to the users. Of course, we want to have an example of how to actually spend the points. It could do something like trigger another stream bot action. So I'm going to create a buy with points command. And points sample redeem, I believe. And again, everyone can use that because it's looking at the points. Again, I'll show you what happens in here. And here we go. It looks for the points name for the current um, current points name to the currency name. Gets the redeemer points, puts it as to points. If you got less than one point, which is what we're spending here, one point then we break, we stop that. We could change that to be running another um, another action, which could say you don't have enough points, but that would need to be a separate action. You do that by creating that action and changing it here, but we'd have the break there as well. This then re reduces the points. So if you want to have one point, that would need to be increased, say, from 1 to 100. If you want 100 points spend, that would need to be minus 100. And then finally, you need to change that to the number of points spent. And actually, that is something we need to fix. So that would not be points. That would be percent points name. So you can customize the messages yourself quite easily by going and changing those. So now we've done the basic set of currency for earning and redeeming points. I've gathered the commands for the basic interaction. Let's cover these within the chat stream and see how they behave. So the first thing we need to do is need to set the points name you want. 
So let's call it bots. The points name, bots, it finds it, and we can get it with get points name. And current points name is bots. So we confirmed it, set that, and it's retrieved it. And we're doing points at the moment. I can add points to myself. I do a large minus number, which is going to remove the points. We can see there it's bots. When you set up these commands, you probably want to change command names to be associated with the currency name you're going to use. So if, if we do a large negative number, it's never going to take us below zero. And then self 300 points. And I can then check with points. I have 300 points. But if I want to override rather than adding or removing, I set points to my name. You can use at sign as well if it's easier for you to be able to pick out a particular name. And we can then pick out that uh, you know, my points have been set to 1000. By with points command, which we added. So I've set one point, got 999 left. And then if I was to do a raid, which I can't also do to myself, it's testing here, that would add points in from there. If you want functionality like the community challenges you get in Twitch on the channel points, there's some additional actions that you can set commands for to set this up with the import we have here. So let's go ahead and create the commands for that. So the first one is to show this current status of the custom points community challenge, point CC. Again, these command names, you can set to what you want. So you want to show it to the community challenge here. And that could be for everyone to look at the current status. We then want to enable a command to contribute to the points. So this will allow viewers to contribute towards the, the global challenge of this. So we set the action there. Next, we want to have the moderator or possibly ideally the streamer commands. So this is where we define the total points of the challenge. We set the name of the challenge to kick things off. And finally, when we want to clear the challenge, we've got a reset command as well. So points CC set total. Probably not the most intuitive names. Again, you can pick the names yourself. So total points for that. And we want moderators is a good permission to have there. Points CC set name. So like the description of the community challenge. Again, moderators for that. And finally, point CC reset to be able to reset the community challenge. Again, definitely a moderator or higher permissioned group for that one. Finally, let's put into practice these commands for the community challenge into play. So by default, there's going to be no community challenge set by using point .cc, which is good. So we need to set the name, points .cc set name, as this description of the community challenge. I will end this video when this is met. I'm going to set the points. So points challenge set total points 
see 10,000. At this point, point .cc should show the right challenge and the current status, so 0 out of 10,000. Now it's down to viewers to contribute and the number of points. So 1,000 points, we're at 1,000. Fortunately, I've just got enough points to do this. So I can go through. Contributing until we hit the goal. Now, if we get to say 9,000, I give myself an additional 1,000 points. If I wanted to contribute 2,000, it's going to be intelligent enough to know to only take 1,000 points. We're going to meet the challenge there. We still got 1,000 currency, so bots in this case left. The point CC will still show it's complete until we do the reset. And at that point, we have no valid community challenges. And that wraps up this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's something you'd like to see covered in a future video, please do let me know, either in the comments below or on Discord. If you want to see the bot in action and for other examples, please check out my Twitch channel. VRFlad.com here has links to that as well as my social media and also directly to the bot. Other links around the bots, including others that provide streamer bot content, can also be found in the description below. And finally, thank you to Nate for making such a great bot. Um, he can be supported via Patreon, and that's also linked from the streamer.bot by page. But it's here, uh, patreon.com slash nate1280. Thank you all, and bye-bye.